Hey there, guys. I am seeing questions and comments about you moms starting to get letters sent home from your school. Now that school is back in session, we have things that we have to deal with. And I want to share with you a recipe that someone posted in our group page that's excellent for preventing your child from succumbing to some of those things that letters get sent home about, if you know what I mean. Now, what we're going to be making is a spray, and the spray can be used on the hair and the scalp and around the collar every single morning. As it gets cooler and we start wearing jackets to school, I also suggest that you spray your jackets because most classrooms have a coat tree or a place where kids are to hang their jackets and sometimes even the backpacks. And when you have everyone's jacket and backpack hanging in the same area, then sometimes you can have some cross-contamination of different things that we don't want to bring home into our house. So what I have before me is a little plastic spray bottle. This is about two ounces, and inside of it I have it half full of witch hazel. Witch hazel is a natural ingredient. It is actually a drying agent. It's used so that when we add the water and the essential oils to it and you spray it on your child, it doesn't feel wet for very long. It helps everything to dry quickly on the hair, the scalp, the skin, the jacket, the backpack. Okay, so the witch hazel is already in here. I am going to add six drops of lavender. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can also add a pinch of salt if you want to. Sometimes salt will help the oils stay dispersed into the liquid a little better. This is rosemary. Six drops of rosemary. And then this is tea tree oil. It's also known as Melaleuca alternifolia. Six drops of that as well. Okay, so now we're ready to top off the bottle with water and attach our spray nozzle. And you wanna attach a label on this. Now you can call this whatever you want. You can call it healthy hairspray, whatever you want to. Let's just try to keep it very compliant. And I would use this on your child before they go to school and after they come home. This is something that will help keep their hair above the line of wellness, if you know what I mean. Now, let's say that you've got a problem. You can use these same oils and you can put them in a carrier oil and do a mask all over the scalp and the hair and let it sit with a plastic bag around the, the hair. And I would let that sit for probably an hour and then shampoo it all out. I've also seen where moms are adding these same oils to your shampoo as another layer of preventive maintenance for healthy hair. If you have any questions about this recipe or anything else that we've covered in this video, please let me know. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is under my name, Tina Cisla, and feel free to share this as needed to those people who may need to know this recipe and how to avoid this issue during today's school year. Have a great day. Bye-bye.